Oh, no, it's fine, thank you. At the drive through which can only mean one Thanks, thing. Mate. Road trip! Are you a sausage or a bacon? So we're on our way to Ikea and the plan is to vlog it, see how kind of it, oh. <laughs> accessible it is, what kind of things they have for people with disabilities there or not. Um, we're going to get some bits for the house. Always bring a list with you. I went into every room, made a list of everything that we need because I think when you get there it can all be a bit overwhelming and I've actually forgotten my list but it's okay because we've got an hour to remember everything it's a bit like the generation game if anyone remembers the generation game there you go. there's your future card Jim yeah that's nice <laughs> I just saw a Forsh a, a, a Forsh, Forsh. <laughs> Forsh. yeah it will forever be known as the Forsh <laughs> may the Forsh be may with you oh! just about to say that. I don't know how this vlog's gonna go because I don't know what IKEA's policy is about filming. I had a look online to see like if there is an actual policy, which I can't find. Oh. So we're gonna have to do sort of like a covert operation here. As I was reading it, apparently someone in California, I believe, filmed a whole soap in IKEA. So Like a soap opera. Like a sitcom. Yes. <laughs> That's smart, eh? Yeah, because they would. Yeah, because they got the sets there, haven't they? All yeah, made up. Really? Like yeah, all they the could just go from one thing. It'd be like yeah. Friends. You could film the whole thing of Friends there, couldn't you? Yeah. Swedish chimney stacks. World famous IKEA chimney stacks. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop saying that. That's fine. World famous chimney stacks. IKEA chimney stacks. Oh. There it is. Who reckons? So we're going to get of people there. a parking space. So we're going to get a parking space. Right, that's the first um, thing is find out about the disabled parking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <gasps> My excitement levels have gone. I've just gone up through the roof. <laughs> it is. It is a good winter thing to do. We've. I've also read stories in the paper about the Boxing Day sale where people actually have fights over like ten pound sofas and stuff. Do you remember that? Ten pound sofas. I don't have a yeah. fight over a ten pound sofa. <laughs> Dang it. Look, there's loads here, look. Over there, there Sean, go. look, loads. I'm just gonna go in look there. Look at all this disabled parking. Look. I'm going in here, eh? Oh, so mate. I'm going here. Uh -huh. Like over there. That's good to know. Good to know. There you go. Got my little friend on. <laughs> You're like a bouncer or a police officer. Yeah. Undercover! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm I look suspicious. <laughs> look, this is really good. We're at the disabled parking and look, there's no curb or anything. Oh, that's great. That's really good. I really you like that. that don't you? Oh, I do. Yeah. It's the little things, John. It's easy, doesn't it? Right, covert operation is on. I should wait till I get in there. Yeah, maybe hide that one. Hmm? You're just rolling away into That's nowhere. <laughs> when you think someone's still pushing you and they're not, and then you just roll off. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so we've got a nice big disabled toilet here. As you come in through the main entrance, um, can kind of get my wheelchair to do a transfer onto the seat. And pleased to say that the red cord is dangling. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a red cord, then check out that video there. For ages. Someone walked in on me. Oh really? Yeah, I thought it was locked. I opened the door and they were like, oh sorry, and then closed it again. And then they opened it again, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Once is enough. A <laughs> little bit of a queue for the uh, lift, but it is quite big. And people seem to bring in their trolley. A tacky present for Daisy. Someone for Christmas. <laughs> Two pounds, put it in there. Wait, what is it? Mobile phone holder. Good. 
I know some of you are asking about how I can fit actually into the displays and the concept areas and uh, this room is not too bad. This actually kind of reminds me of your bedroom when I first met you. Look, this is almost the same. This looks like a, like a boudoir. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can fit in this boudoir. She's in. Make sure you lock the door this time. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. I think it's not bad, is it? I can let fit through this yeah. the whole well, one. Admittedly, we are only like literally Just about two meters <laughs> into the place from the lift, and she's already gone off. but it doesn't feel too bad, do you know what I mean? Like it's a nice busy. All around Ikea, they've got the little concept areas where they've got them all set up as like lounges and kitchens so you can get an idea. I didn't think I'd be able to actually access any of them, but they are completely all leveled access. So I can get into them really easily and I've noticed that most of them I've been able to get right inside, right round and have a look and really kind of like get involved in it. Except for this one. <laughs> I don't like this one very much. Hey Jem, come into my house. <laughs> this is like a sitcom set up, isn't it? Yeah, you can even cook here, so you've got Jem safe stove. Look, <laughs> it's accessible. They've got an accessible kitchen where I can't burn my stuff. <laughs> actually, this is actually not bad. Jim say. <laughs> But honey, I'm home. I've done the Christmas shopping. What's for dinner? Oh, wow. Hi, honey. Okay. I've made something wonderful for dinner, darling. I've done a lovely lamb hot pot. Are you hungry? Oh, my favourite. Just going to crack open a bit of bubbly. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> Now we're going to cut to a montage of me going through the store pretending I don't know that Sean's filming me. I'm loving this because like if you're a nosy person, it's so cool. Like going, it's almost like going into different people's houses. Yeah. Or like it's bringing a catalogue to life. Oh, look, this is a mustard room. Excellent. Oh, now we're talking mustard. <laughs> this, I like this. Gee, you got in there really easy, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Do you want like English mustard? Yeah. Or Dijon mustard? <laughs> American hot? Or French Dijon? I like how each room has its own smell. Like the manly one over there smells really manly. And then the kitchen was all like vanilla y. Yeah. That's quite cool. It's quite very clever, Sean. Very clever. I wonder if they'll do it in the toilet areas. <laughs> oh, the la poo poo. <laughs> yeah, these are very exciting. These are the Same. sort of things I get excited about. Yeah, yeah. It's a plug, but also three USBs. Perfect, perfect. That's going into the bag. We now have two items in there. Oat biscuits with chocolate. No, they didn't do. A really logical Because they're from here and they're not from like. The supermarket. Know, How much are they? Uh, Twelve pounds fifty. <laughs> yeah, you could put like some little berries on it and jazz it up with glitter. 
Whenever we go out for the days and come to like big places like this, I always bring a bottle of water and put it in my pick pack. <laughs> Left it in the car. There you go, there's a tap there, get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get the measurement of this with my handy paper measurement. One meter. Or instead of measuring it, you can just look on the label and it tells you. Yeah. I want this. You do, don't you? Yeah. Wait. If I can fit underneath it, I don't think I'm going to fit underneath it. You're on a rug as well, which has taken you up an inch. <gasps> Look at her. A star is born. It's your uh, dressing room. You say one of them. Bathroom. And into the bathroom. As you can see here, we have a lovely bath. This could be a good idea for an accessible wardrobe. I smell meatballs, and that can only mean one thing that we are nearing the end of this. It feels like it was never gonna end. But I think we're nearly at the end. I've lost Sean, he's lost the will to live. My neck is hurting. Oh, help, get me out of here. Here is a huge queue for the meatballs. Couldn't resist a sugary hit. I think I do have to go and get some Swedish meatballs. Are you serious? I think it's part of the part and parcel, part isn't it? Part of the experience. I want to know, what do you think Sean's going to go for? Is he going to go for chips or mash? Mm. My money's on the mash. He's coming. Got my meatballs and mash. Yeah. Wow. I've got to get cutlery. I forgot. Rookie error. How are they, Sean? Yeah, they're all right. Yeah. What meat are they? Reindeer. No idea. Yeah, reindeer. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Just put it in your mouth. It's a meatball. Oh. I think we should go right there. They do taste very processed. Yeah. Right, like so? a dirty, guilty pleasure process. Exactly. And that's what today's all about. That is McDonald's all about. breakfast. Oh, God, yeah. Processed Swedish meatballs. Okay. It's the final push, Sean, the last bit. We're back on the move. Yeah, so I think you go to like the marketplace and then you go to the warehouse. <sighs> Oh, I love storage solutions and ideas. I love like plastic boxes and jars. I know. Look at them, there's a whole family. one from. I do like the coral, but... but it doesn't go with anything as well. Yeah. Right, that one. What else? Green soap holder? You're just being silly yeah, now. Green soap holder. <laughs> That's, there's a hat. That's like a French hat. Uh -huh. <laughs> very, very pleased to meet you, huh, Adele? Got my new handbag. Stay with me, Sean. You got this. I can't. We're nearly there. And I'm going to turn around and I'll...
come down to me. Girlfriend. Is this the marketplace? Can we go now? Yeah, we can go How did, how did, oh yeah, we went up. I can feel the cold, we're coming to the end. Yeah. I need to put my coat on now. Yeah, your coat's buried under everything. Yeah. It's a good idea, like coming for a little recce and then coming for the big stuff, I reckon. But yeah, in terms of like if I was coming up on my own, I don't think I would come oh up to God, Ikea. A Christmas show, yeah. it's a Christmas come on, Sean, you got it in you. <laughs> Jane, check out this way. Quick. Sorry, you did it! Nearly done it. We are just waiting at the checkout now. I think we're going to go through all of the weird stuff that we randomly picked up with excitement that maybe we're not so excited about now. They seem to be moving quicker over there. Shall we change? This one's not moving. They don't do bags. They do, but you've got to buy those. I bought a bag. Big canvas ones. Oh, uh, oh yeah, actually. So I said, use the bag. But hey, lucky, Sean. Lucky we got some bags. Yeah. Hey, Sean. Yeah. Next time we come to IKEA, would you like to do it in a wheelchair as well? Me? Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> no. It would be really, really yeah. difficult. Huh? It would be quite difficult if we both did it. Yeah. Well, obviously I don't have a toy. <laughs> you know, we did it, Sean. Yes, we did. <laughs> I now feel I'm just gonna drive home. Exhausted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just hope yeah. we have a clear run home. Yeah. It is exhausting, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. But we got everything we needed. Pretty much. Within budget. Yeah. Yeah. And. Look what I got. Still got my Ikea pencil. Oh, 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 it's a good oh, one for the oh, car. Now who's had the last laugh? Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, so, maybe I should give that back because it's saving the trees. No. Maybe you could use it in your next visit. Yes, yeah. I should recycle there you that go. pencil and use it again. So, in terms of accessibility, I think it was fine. It was really I think good. It was excellent. Yeah, there were no. I could get to all of the concept areas. We'll as go you know. through it from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Disabled parking, loads of it. Yeah, loads of it. Get in there. Get in. Nice early. big lift to yeah. get to the, get to the top level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you get in there, loads of aisle room. Yeah. Yep. You say? Yep. Lots yeah. of lots of room to aisle, go around and maneuver all around the areas. I didn't get stuck anywhere. The concept areas, I was really surprised at. I could actually get inside all of them. Bear and in mind. Out out and um, bear in mind though my chair is quite small and nippy um, so maybe with like a power chair or a big scooter it would probably nippy be... what about that lady just flying around in that little thing she almost wiped you I know <laughs> but yeah so I can get around it so maybe bigger chairs couldn't but yeah I could I hope this video has been of use to you and maybe it's inspired you to have a little IKEA visit let me know where your local IKEA is because I'd be interested to know what other countries they're in I always thought that they were just in the UK and Sweden but no, we've got them in Australia oh no no they've got them in Australia and apparently they've got them in America I had no idea they're in America so I'd love to know and now I think I'm gonna go <laughs> thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, let's go to B&Q now, look. Sports Direct. Next. <laughs> we can